I've always enjoyed looking around, looking in nature, seeing things that are around, around me. And uh, when, I was very, when I was young, about nine years old or so, my brother received a chemistry set. And so, of course, I also wanted a chemistry set, but my parents felt that having two chemistry sets in the family making you know, uh, smells and exploding things was a little too much. And so they, my parents gave me a microscope. And so what I did was to take sort of the uh, runoff on the sidewalk and such. And I discovered, looking through the microscope, these little animals. I mean, they're called rotifers. And they have um, little uh, disks on the front of them. And these disks rotate, and they sort of swim through the water. And you know, when I saw that, I told my brother and my father, and then I had various of my school friends come. And uh, everybody thought that this was really great. And so that was sort of uh, the beginning of my idea of going to, into science. So actually, my family, you know, we come from Austria, and they had left uh, when uh, Austria was taken over by the Germans. My family had always had a physician in there, so that each generation had been a physician, because physicians were one of the things that you were allowed to be in Austria even though you were Jewish. And so since nobody else was interested in being a physician, I somehow was de designated. And when I was little, I used to go around and bandage chairs and such. And, uh, um, but it was sort of, uh, so it wasn't clear that I wasn't going to go to med school and go into science, even though I was very interested in understanding things. And it was really only finally when I started uh, college and got you know, sort of more ideas, but had a very good chemistry teacher and realized that if you wanted to study, understand biology, you had to learn chemistry and physics. And that, I, that at that point, really, is when I gave up the idea of medical school and bec become a scientist. Uh,